Okay, welcome everybody. Welcome to the class. This is Psychology 253, Industrial Organizational Psychology. And I'm Bill Ashton, and this video lecture is a welcome to the class, uh, which is similar to the lecture professors often give the first day of class, where they introduce themselves and they introduce the class to the students. And first off, let me introduce you a little bit to myself. I have a PhD in social psychology, and I got that at Miami University of Ohio. And uh, in graduate school, I studied the fundamental attribution era, the stigma of mental illness, and gender and social support. Besides doing a lot of teaching, I did some non-academic work. Uh, I was the uh, executive director for a community leadership training program. And then also, I was the associate uh, director of a community mental health center, and specifically I was inv involved with community organizing. I've been at York since 2003, and I teach social psych methods, IO, and OB, organizational behavior. And in the past, I've served as the director of the honors program. I'm married, and here's me and my wife, Barbara, back when we visited uh, Smoky Mountains. Uh, you know, about maybe 15 years ago or so. It was a very nice vacation. And so what I'd like to do is give you a brief introduction to the topic. IO psychology is uh, the psychology of work. It's psychology applied to the workplace. We're going to be talking about topics, uh, you know, very similar to a, to a set of topics that you'd see in a business course. But we will be approaching these topics from the methodology of psychology, and that's very important. Uh, among the topics that IO psychologists uh, work with, employment testing is a major area of work that I, IO psychologists do. Also, marketing research and ergonomics uh, are you know, important topics that IO psychologists deal with. And we will be discussing these topics this semester. So. Let me give you also an introduction to the process. This is a 100% online course, which means that we will never meet in person. So what do you need to do an online course? Well, first off, you need a computer. Uh, you need to have a fast computer that you can get to and use when you need to. Uh, so that's the important thing. You need to have the soft skills. That's what we in business call uh, the skills that allow you to show up in the morning. That is. Uh, knowing how to make a schedule, knowing how to keep a schedule, knowing how to schedule your time. You will also need to have study skills. Uh, online course means that I will not be there and you will not be in class with me three hours a week with me telling you what to do. So you will have to tell yourself what to do. So you'll need study skills for that. And then you need to have a place to work uh, where you're not going to be bothered by your children, or your parents, or your siblings, or whomever. So these are important things that you need to think about uh, as you're preparing for an online course. Also, this is a summer class. And so that means each day is one week of a normal semester. So we have to keep in mind that we are moving at an accelerated pace. And you have to just keep that in mind. Uh, if this was in person, uh, you know, an in-person summer class, we would meet three hours a day, four days a week. So Monday through Thursday, we would be together from like 12 to 3. So that gives you a good indication about how I've designed this course and the amount of work that I expect you to do each day during the week. Uh, if you believe that you can just log in for about five minutes every night uh, to do this course, you're not going to be able to do this. You need to be able to, to think in terms of, well, you know, if I was taking this in person, that's, you know, three hours a day I'd be in class. And so you have to recognize that probably an equivalent is going to happen online. I'm not saying that I expect you to be online three hours a day. That would be torturous. Uh, but what I do expect is that to, uh, Monday through Thursday, I would expect that you could log on at least uh, you know, three times a day and spend maybe about 20 minutes each time you log on uh, reading discussion boards and responding, 
uh, or uh, just checking in to see how discussions are going and staying constant. So uh, you need to be able to do that. I know a lot of you want to do uh, Blackboard work just during lunch hour at work. When everyone's gone, you can use the computer. Well, that's one shot, but then you're going to have to be able to log in a couple other times during the day because remember, each day is one week. That's very important. If you don't think you can keep that up, you may want to drop the course now and get your refund. Uh, a lot of students have contacted me about wanting to take this course and they're closed out. And so if you don't think this course is for you, then I would encourage you to drop and uh, then students who would want to take this course could have that slot open for them. So now that you know this, this would be a very good time to really think about uh, whether or not you wish to stay in this course. Uh, remember, this is an online course uh, and a summer course. So in a normal semester course, an online course, you have a week or so to get used to it being online. You're not going to have that option. And also, this is a summer class, so it goes very fast. You need to be able to devote time each day and every day. And if you can't, then you're not going to do well in the course or you're not going to pass it. Uh, in the uh, Start Here folder, I have the day-by-day -day schedule there. I created a schedule of the assignments that we have due each day. And uh, that will help you during the semester. But also, right now, you could take a look at it to get a good idea about whether or not uh, you can keep up with the amount of work that we're going to be doing in this course. There are students who uh, want to take this course, uh, but the course is full. So if you think that this is not going to be the best course for you, uh, you should drop now so those students can add the course. OK, some important dates for the class for the semester. Uh, the first day of class is 6-3. Uh, the last day to drop with a W is 6-18. And then the last day of class when we take our final exam is 626. So uh, the plan of the course, uh, we're going to be reading Schultz and Schultz's The Psychology of Work. And uh, we're going to be taking quizzes and exams uh, based off of that textbook. I've put under course content study guides, which are the question populations that I will have Blackboard choose from when it makes up quizzes and the two exams for you. So it would be very much worth your while to read the chapters and then study the chapters and then review those study questions. Uh, again, we're going to have a quiz every day because we have to get through the material and it's a summer course and every day is one week. And so we're going to be having a quiz every day. We'll have a midterm halfway through and a final. Uh, the final will be non-comprehensive, so that final is really a second exam. We're only going to cover the chapters from the midterm to the final. And uh, with the quizzes, I've set it up so that uh, you can try to do the quizzes three times. And Blackboard will take your uh, highest scoring attempt at the quiz. Uh, the midterm and the final, uh, you only have one shot at that. Uh, and uh, you know, again, uh, all of these questions that Blackboard will give you, I have given you in the study guide so you can be prepared for those uh, quizzes and the exams. And the other uh, assignment that we have is the integrative assignments. These assignments allow you to integrate uh, the textbook material with you know, other things. And so this is essentially the homework assignments. And some of this will be individual and some of this will be group assignments. And this is where we get back to you should be able to log in a couple times a day because in these integrative assignments you need to work in, with your group and to do so on Blackboard requires you to log in, look at the discussion board for your group and figure out what's going on and respond to it and work with people. And you, you can't do that by just logging in once per day. Uh, some of the topics for the integrative assignments, we're going to have one on research methods uh, in IO psychology, one on ONET, uh, which is a very important uh, tool that 
IO psychologists use, uh, one on performance appraisals, and a final one on finding and evaluating research in IO psychology. And the grading elements, uh, basically everything's a quarter. The quizzes all together will be a quarter. Uh, so there's about 10 quizzes, uh, 11 quizzes. So that means each quiz is about 2.53% of your uh, overall class grade. Uh, your midterm and your final are a quarter of your course grade. And the integrative assignments all together are, again, a quarter of your course grade. The important thing here is not to really let one slide, because then that's a quarter of your grade. And if you blow one thing, then that means the highest you can get, the highest, is a 75%. And here's Floss with her raccoon, which uh, Floss allows these things to exist for only about 10 or 15 seconds, and then they're destroyed. Uh, and she's here to remind me that that's it for our introduction. And it's coming in just at uh, 10 minutes. So uh, that's uh, what uh, you should uh, be prepared for for this class. And I'm looking forward to working with you online uh, this month. Bye-bye.